Hi hey there, it's Phil with Phil Effects and another tutorial with uh, Harmony. Today we're going to create just a uh, quick tutorial on how to create cycles and loops in Harmony. This is a question I get asked a lot in class and hopefully this will uh, clarify this. Uh, I've created a quick scene right here and I've got one layer that's got some uh, drawings and there's nothing special about this. You can see I got five different drawings that are just labeled one through five and then I have a uh, another layer that just has a ball that has a simple animation and uh, so in, in the ball animation there's one drawing that is animated and you can see that I have some keyframes and in the drawings there is you might call it an animation but this would be equivalent as if you did a let's say a walk cycle but you drew every frame so let's look at this one first so uh, one of the ways that you can do that is there's a uh, command called create cycles and if we look at the uh, uh, Harmony Advanced uh, and I'll post this link on documentation uh, they've got just a brief introduction here on how you can uh, uh, create a cycle. Uh, a handy way to do that is if you've got an icon on your timeline uh, I don't currently have that let me show you how to do that so if we right click on the timeline and we say customize I have the uh, toolbar manager here and I can go down here to create cycle and I can select that and I can place that into my timeline and say apply and OK and so now I have this icon for creating a cycle so what you do is you select the drawings from start to finish and select them all that you would want to make a cycle so I've got the first uh, drawing selected. Let me click to the last one. And I go over here and I click this Create Cycle icon. So what this does is this is basically going to do just a copy and paste. So it's going to copy and paste these five drawings. And if I just say one, it'll do exactly. It's going to paste it right where it's at. All right. If I say two, it'll paste it here. And then it'll paste it again in five more three and four so on and so forth so let me let's do four so you can get a quick look at what this does and so we'll say okay and that copied and pasted the cycles so you can see we go one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five so it created just a quick cycle now there's nothing special about you know the, the number one drawing out here versus the number one drawing here okay it there's no linking there isn't anything that says oh you you created this by doing a copy cycles no all it does is essentially does an automatic cop, uh, copy and paste for you that's all it's doing so I can go into this uh, frame and put in drawing five if I want or drawing four and so we go from five to five to two okay so there's nothing unique about this if I went in here and made the first drawing drawing five it doesn't go in and make the first drawing drawing five down here okay uh, like I said there's nothing that's linked all right another way to do this so let me do some undos all right so we can go in here <clears throat> so that was using a create cycle command we can also do this with a copy and paste so if I do a copy select all these and I copy the cells from the timeline then I right click and I can do a paste cycle so you have more power actually in a paste cycle as opposed to create cycle so creating cycle is just going to do one of the many types of uh, variations you have available in paste cycle so let's see what that is so we do paste cycle all right, same kind of thing. The number of cycles I have is I can change that so we can put in four here. Now here's where it gets interesting. So normal is forward is it copies them and pastes them in just the same order. So we have one, two, three, four, five. It'll paste them one, two, three, four, five. All right. The cycle type we can do reverse. So if I did reverse, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then it'll go five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one and uh, let's actually do this uh, for two and do this in reverse and so you can see that so we have drawings I actually changed that so let's put that to drawing one 
Let me undo that. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. So you can see it did that in reverse. All right. So let's do that. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Let's do that same thing again. Copy. Cells from the timeline. Then we go up here and we do a paste cycle. No. And now I can do reverse to forward and uh, let's do this for like three so we do forward to reverse all right so we say okay so we go one two three four five five four three two one so it reverses one but then it reverses again it goes forward to reverse two three four five so you can see how this cycles through so if you have a particular drawing and you want to be able to reverse the drawing or drawing it forward. Uh, you've got a number of options here, uh, but basically using either the create cycle or uh, going in here and using the paste cycle, uh, the, for the copy cycle from the timelines, and then the paste cycle, you have some variations and alternatives of how you can create uh, essentially a loop. Uh, now let's go in and look at uh, the ball that I have with animation and see what that does. So I can go in here and select those and go in here and uh, actually let's go in and let's just create a cycle. So I can create a cycle and let's create two but you're going to see a problem here. So I can create the cycle and what it does Creating cycle only works with uh, drawings, all right? It doesn't work with uh, keyframes. So you can see it copied the drawings correctly. In this case, there was only one drawing, but it didn't duplicate my timing and my keyframes. So you don't want to use that command if you've got keyframes. If you want to be able to copy your timing, then you need to select the cells that you want. So I'm going to go in here and I'll select all the cells I want. I go in and copy cells from the timeline and then I go to here and now I do my paste cycle or I can do paste special. Let's look at paste cycle. Paste cycle is easy and let's just do normal and uh, we'll say OK and that you can see copied my keyframes all right and it keeps the timing and so everything is pasted and copied in there. Uh, if I wanted to go in and I copied this and we say paste cycle and instead of doing forward I do a reverse and paste that in you can see see how the keyframes are the the keyframes are reversed and so it put them all in reversed from what the original was all right and uh, again so it depends on what you're trying to do if you're trying to do something like a walk cycle what you probably would want to do as long as you had one complete walk cycle in this initial set of frames that you copied then when you paste you would duplicate that and I can show you that if we go over here to uh, uh, I've got a uh, quick uh, animation I've done with uh, pepper uh, Pepper is a rig from uh, Tony Teach. Tony Ross created this and it's available on Gumroad if you're interested. But uh, I just did a very quick back of the envelope kind of a walk cycle. Uh, it's not that great. In fact, things are moving around and shouldn't be. But what I want to do is just use this to demonstrate how you can loop and create a walk cycle. So I've created this loose walk cycle and it I take it all the way through. Now notice when I have a this is my start and you're in the contact pose and we end in the contact pose so the loop that I actually want is one frame back I want when you're in the high pose because when I start again I'm in the contact pose the same place here so what I want to do is these you'll see that up when I highlight here are the cycles that I want to copy. Alright, so I've got these highlighted. We copy the cells from the timeline 
and actually I want to overwrite this group right here where I'm in contact phase because I have contact phase over here. So I'll right click on here and I'll say paste cycle and we're just going to do normal forward and I say OK and that puts it in. And now you can see if I loop this and we play this through I've got a complete walk cycle and it's copied and it's pasted and it saved me a lot of time in terms of the, the copy and paste and I have my walk cycle for my animation. So that's basically the way it loops. Uh, it would be nice if there were a few more other features. I can think of a number of things that I would prefer to have but in, in, uh, in lieu of nothing uh, this actually works quite well. And uh, if you've got questions on pasting cycles uh, the uh, help documentation also has some uh, good documentation on how to paste cycles within Harmony. So hopefully this helps in figuring out looping and pasting cycles. This has been Phil with PhilFX.